So, are you a good girl? Or are you a bad girl? Or you are a mixture of the both? Stay tuned for more. Cue the intro. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome to another edition of the Fragrantition. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Please like, comment and subscribe to my videos. It makes the fragrance community grow. And um, as a channel, um, it makes my channel grow as well. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. You're here with me again. And I do appreciate you being here with me today. We are talking about two fragrances so we are talking about Anjou Demon by Givenchy we are talking about the original and we are talking about Le Secret which is the flanker so first of all I'll just pop this one to the side let's talk about this fragrance first so this fragrance I do believe um, came out after uh, the Anjou Demon um, so it was a flanker to the original Anjou Demon this is a lovely, um, slightly citrusy, floral, um, very, very um, uplifting scent, I would say this is. It has notes of tea and cranberry in it. It's tea and cranberry prominent um, with the citruses. Um, so it gives that brightness. It gives that zestiness. It gives that... Um, I wouldn't say fullness to the fragrance, but it also it, it gives it that um, gaiety to the fragrance almost, I would say. So let's smell the fragrance. It comes with a little plastic lid. So I'm just going to spray it. So I immediately smell that cranberry. And I also smell, it has that tea vibe to it, which is really, really lovely. It's a very, very lovely, soft, light fragrance. Um, not much projection, but a little bit of sillage. Sits close to the skin. It is very flirty, I would say, this fragrance is. It could be a signature scent, almost. I actually did do a video um, on this fragrance. It is a signature scent where the fragrance, I would say, this is. The top back on here. Sits snugly onto the bottle there. So, I really do quite like this fragrance. For me, it is a spring and summer fragrance, I would say, this fragrance is. I wouldn't really wear this in the autumn and winter. Um, I would say you could wear this to work. Um, the sillage on this, it does project for about half an hour to an hour and then sits more close to the skin. The longevity on my skin, I would say, is about three hours. So I do reapply this on my skin. I do love the bottle. I love the back here, which is really, really lovely. It's got that kind of like devil's demon's spine almost to it but the juice in it is very very light and it is a very very light fragrance this fragrance i'll move on to the next fragrance which is, so let's just pop that to the side there this one is um the original anjou de Mont. this came out i do believe i think it was 2005 but i'll put the year up if i'm wrong um uma thurman was the actual face of this um, this fragrance I absolutely do love. This is classed as a, an oriental floral. This has woody notes, it has floral notes, but it's the saffron, the vanilla and the oak wood that really comes through in this fragrance. It comes again with the plastic top. I'll spray. So yes, this is a deeper fragrance. I would say actually this is more demonic than angelic. Um, so this is probably why I do like this fragrance. You do have those florals in there in the background dancing, but ultimately it's the oak moss, the oak wood, it's the florals, it's the saffron, the lang ylang that is really beautiful in this fragrance. It has enormous sillage, I would say this fragrance does. Um, 
My husband absolutely loves this fragrance on me. This is a little 30 ml bottle, which is good for the handbag. Although it does fit nicely in the hand, it's still quite long. Like the other one here, they are both quite long, I would say. Um, and again, it has that almost spine-like demonic back to it, that backbone to it. This fragrance isn't for the faint-hearted, whereas this one I would say is probably a safer blind buy. This one isn't. Um, this one has more of an acquired taste to it. Um, I think they are both modern masterpieces, and especially this one. This one is blended to perfection, if I do say so myself. Um, and it's by Givenchy, which is one of my favourite... Fra actually, it's, it's one of my top three favourite fragrance houses. Um, so yes, as I say, Sillage is longer on this and stronger on this. Sillage is softer on this one and, and longevity is softer on this one as well. They could be both signature fragrances. For me, I would wear this more of a signature fragrance just for me personally. But if you are a little bit nervous about which one to go for, I would go with the Ange de Mont de Secret, which is the flanker to the original one here. So that was just a small little mini review and comparison of my two Ange de Mont fragrances by Givenchy. Tell me what you think below. Give me a big thumbs up for me. Give a comment, give a like, give a subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. And let's start chatting down below. So you've been watching another edition of The Fragrantition. Till next time, don't just dab it on, slap it on. Ciao.